So, if you allow, Gurudev, we will read something out of Sri Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Oh. <laughs> Antya Lila. In English, it's the uh, volume four. In German, it's volume two. But it's the same text. Chapter 15. And we will begin uh, with text number 28. Yeah. Om Akyana Timirandasya Kenanjana Shalakaya Chakshu Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Venamaha. Shri Chaitanya Manopistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Karamayam Dadatiswa Parantikam. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Tveta Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda So one day Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is walking on the beach by the sea and suddenly he sees he saw a flower garden. This is where we start. So yesterday, we were also speaking in a Zoom meeting about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life. And we saw that the life of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is from different uh, states. He's beginning with Kyan as Nimai Pandit. And when he is the most famous Kyani in the whole world, then he drops the Kyan officially. Yeah. Everyone, everyone can see Kyan is not the solution. Forget about Kyan. And he can do it because he is Nimai Pandit. And then, of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life is going to different stages and every step is so interesting. He is going to chant the holy name and he is telling everyone, I'm stupid and my Gurudev told me that I should just chant the holy name. And so he's going on through different steps till the highest point. And what is the highest point of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's um, gift? Gurudev, you told this in the Russian Zoom, I, th I think. Hey, I want to love you. <laughs> <laughs> you told that this is the manjari bath. This is the height. So yeah. even though even though he's going through the mood of Radharani herself, manjari bath is even more high. Yeah. So why is that like that? I was thinking just to give a little example out of mathematic to understand it. There's the mood of Krishna, one. There's the mood of Radha, two. And there's the mood of the servant of the Radha Dasi, three. So, yeah. and three. so let's say Krishna is meeting Radharani. So you may feel what Krishna is feeling. That's quite something. <laughs> it's described as the highest that you are so near with Krishna that you can feel what he feels. But if you feel Krishna through Radharani's mood, through her feelings, we all can understand that this is much higher. Yeah. But even higher than that is 
When the Manjuri is giving fire into the meeting of Radharani and Krishna, and she is giving wind in the fire, and Radharani is blooming up, all her Mahabhav is coming out, it's gushing out of her. And of course, Krishna's blue uh, shining is also going up. So also his feelings are coming up. So a big fire is burning and the Mandaris and Kinkaris are putting wind into that fire. So back to mathematic. One and two is already quite enough. Fire is burning like everything, but then three is coming also. One, two, and three are coming together. So nothing higher than that. So we begin from Kyan and we went to the highest goal and in between there is a way. And this no, is and uh, also about uh, Vyakrana. All things he teach, and he is a teacher, and when he is this, uh, then he starts that the real Gyan is vital. Then he stops with things. He is only Krishna is the real knowledge. Only Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama in Kevalam. This is the only thing we can do. And Nama will be help to you. Then travel, <coughs> keep your realization and share with that. Who will not understand what is the step of after jnana. Then he starts traveling. Right? He starts traveling for a project. Then he also named that traveling, helping, caring. And in sharing, he shows the importance of Radhika. Right? Yes. Importance of Radhika, our Radhika is a goal of our life. And he explained in the traveling time. This is the meaning of the traveling. Of, of Mahaprabhu. He went to sannyasi and other place. Then to the highest he should that. Because Krishna inside him, he had a Chaitanya. He, he is explaining all details that all frame and love. Frame and Pariyojana. He teaches behave by his behavior, by action, madness, what is happening there. <laughs> and then he did that also, preaching also. 
And you say, I'm not bad enough to drop on the bike out. Sanyasi from Sanyasi. And he said, I have not Sanyasi. I'm worse than Das Anu Das of Gopi. Now you fix yourself in the total speed of Vatika. But now try to serve us as a much as Prabhupada also Ma also said when you sign Krishna, then it's time. Glory is but it's steadily with progress. Slowly. Because this takes time to fix in Radhika, takes time. <laughs> to make one point gesture. This takes time. Philosophy catching, other learningous catching, all circumstances is catching back and back. And again, I want to come back to the reality. And slowly, 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 by dancing and past time memory, we understand which came on from Take center of Radhika. And with Muda, my relation of Padita. She always likes to give position of friends. But the intelligent want to be a servant. It was my Mahaprabhu who is practicing what he was having. Any other steps, try to And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also giving us an example that first before we go in Mantri Bhav, you have to we have to accept also Gopi Bhav. And this is actually the example here given in the Chaitanya Charit Amrita, because first he's going in Gopi Bhav and then he is going in Radharani's mood in this text here. So Lord Chaitanya mistook the garden for Vrindavan and very quickly entered it, completely absorbed in ecstatic love of Krishna. He wandered throughout the garden, searching for him. After Krishna disappeared with Radharani, during the Rasa dance, the gopis wandered into the forest looking for him. In the same way, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered in that garden by the sea. Wow. A 
absorbed in ecstatic mood of the gopis, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered here and there. He began to inquire after Krishna by quoting verses to all the trees and creepers. The gopi said, O Chuta tree, Priyala tree, Panasa, Asana, <coughs> sorry, and Kovidara, O Chambu tree, O Arka tree, O Bell, Bakula and Mango, O Kadamba tree, O Nipa tree, and all other trees living on the bank of the Yamuna for the welfare of others. Please, let us know where Krishna has gone. We have lost our minds and are all almost dead. Oh, all auspicious Tulasi plant, you are very dear to Govinda's lotus feet. And he is very dear to you. Have you seen Krishna walking here, wearing a garland of your leaves, surrounded by a swarm of bumblebees? O oh, plants of Malati flowers, Malika flowers, Jati, and Utica flowers. Have you seen Krishna passing this way? Touching you with his hand to give you pleasure? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued. O oh, mango tree, O oh, jackfruit tree, O oh, piala, chambu, and kovidara trees, you are all inhabitants of a holy place. Therefore, kindly act for the welfare of others. Have you seen Krishna coming this way? Kindly tell us which way he has gone and save our lives. When the trees did not reply, the gopis guessed, since all of these trees belong to the male class, all of them must be friends of Krishna. <coughs> Why should the trees tell us where Krishna has gone? Let us rather inquire from the creepers. They are female and therefore are like friends to us. They will certainly tell us where Krishna has gone. Since they have seen him 
personally guessing in this way the gopis inquired from the plants and creepers headed by tulasi gurudev it's it's very interesting that the gopis they put their own picture of the mind also to other creepers so they think they have to think like us of course how they yeah. could not yeah they are Yeah. It's one one feeling came to me now. Uh, one thing to ask you about it. So I sorry, I just have to go a little back what um Gurudev was saying that Brother Rani, she can easily give friendship. She can easily give Sakhi Bhav, Gopi Bhav. And then I was feeling like, yeah, that's true because even Krishna can give easily Gopi Bhav, right? But maybe Radha Rani cannot give Manjari Bhav directly. I was thinking maybe it has to go through Adasi. And then I re remember this uh, one verse in Vilaku Sumanjali when Brother Rani is offering to Sumanjali friendship. She's saying, come to us here, I'll make you my friend. Don't worry, I'll make you a Saki. You can become like the position of, of Lalita. I can give it to you. Become my friend. And then Tulsi says, no, no, I don't want your friendship. I want to be your maid servant. And then Radharani asks, but why is that so? Why you want, why you love me so much? And then Tulsi says, because my Guru Manjri has introduced me to you. So then I felt Guru that, that this Manjri Bhav, we can only get from Guru Manjri. Manjri isn't that practice of that. And the Guru Manjri Okay. 
नहीं ये ना हो रहा है just like dear friends to us kindly tell us which way krishna has gone and save our lives when they still received no reply the gopis thought these plants are all krishna's maid servants and out of fear they will not speak to us. The gopis then came upon a group of she deer. Smelling the aroma of Krishna's body and seeing the faces of the deer the gopis inquired from them to ascertain if Krishna was nearby. O oh, wife of the deer, Lord Krishna has been embracing his beloved and thus the kumkuma powder on her uh, the kumkuma powder on her raised breasts has covered his garland of kunda flowers the fragrance of this garland is flowing here Oh, my dear friend, have you seen Krishna passing this way with his dear most companion, increasing the pleasure of the eyes of all of you? Oh, dear, do. Sri Krishna is always very pleased to give you pleasure. Kindly inform us whether he passed this way in the company of Srimati Radharani. We think they must certainly have come this way. We are not outsiders. Being very dear friends of Srimati Radharani, we can perceive the bodily fragrance of Krishna from a distance. <coughs> Krishna has been embracing Srimati Radharani and the kumkuma powder on her breasts has mixed with the garland of kunda flowers decorating his body. The fragrance of the garland 
has scented the entire atmosphere. Lord Krishna has left this place and therefore the deer are feeling separation. They do not hear our words. Therefore, how can they reply? <coughs> so Braj Sundari has a point to that. <laughs> I feel it's so wonderful to feel here this mood of the gopis because they are so so steady and eager and don't get angry and yes have have always the the excuse when they get not an answer and so it's i feel it's very very innocent mood and Yes, it's, uh, maybe someone like to share or add something about this. <laughs> I feel it's very motivating for me to come to come closer. To never give up. Eh? Yes. <laughs> to be fixed on the one point. In our case on Radharani, of course. <coughs> Read again. Read again. So Lord Krishna has left his place and therefore the deer are feeling separation. So they do not hear our words, therefore how can they reply? <laughs> So nobody answered them, but still they are inquiring. So Gorabaniji, <clears throat> can I say it a little bit? <laughs> yes, please. This gopis, they become little mud, divya mother. And uh, I I think this become like a Mohan. Adiruta Mahababa, this is this is called, I guess, Mohan. Feeling separation, they are so much crazy. So they are they are thinking, oh, if I ask deer or even plants, what they can reply, or they don't reply, maybe. They did not hear our words. Completely observing kind of, you know, mad woman, but not material mad woman. Spiritually completely observing uh, Krishna. <laughs> and uh, they also, Gopi was thinking, other, other plants, other deers, they also, they must see, or they may a little bit angry with us, or they don't hear our art, what? So this is, Gopi is so much one-pointed, <laughs> and too much one-pointed become crazy. So this is very much interesting, but this is not Manjari's mood, <laughs> because they want to, Krishna. This is <laughs> So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going to that stage, he is giving us actually uh, first this base on which Mandurai Bhav can grow, right? So it's 
this one pointedness of the gopis i think it's it's a good uh, how, how you say uh, fundament hmm? so chaitanya mahaprabhu is actually giving us all the steps from kyan up to manjuri bar so this is just also one step before that right he's going in this uh, story also in in the mood of radharani so i think it's Yeah. Hmm? Now it's not clear. This mood is not clear. We have to go more. Yes, we have to. We have to read more to understand. Read this. Not clear. So, O oh, trees, kindly tell us whether Balaram's younger brother, Krishna. Welcomed your obeisances with loving glances as he passed this way, resting one hand on the shoulder of Srimati Radharani, holding a lotus flower in the other, and being followed by a swarm of bumblebees, maddened by the fragrance. of tulasi leaves <clears throat> to stop the bumblebees from landing on the face of his beloved he whisked them away with the lotus flower in his hand and thus his mind was slightly diverted did he or did he not pay attention while you offered him obeisances kindly give evidence supporting your words separation from krishna has made these servants very unhappy having lost consciousness how can they answer us saying this the gopi stepped onto the beach by the yamuna river there they saw lord krishna beneath a katamba tree standing there with his flute to his lips krishna who enchants millions upon millions of cupids attracted the eyes and minds of all the world with his unlimited beauty when shri chaitanya mahaprabhu saw the transcendental beauty of krishna he fell down on the ground unconscious at that time all the devotees headed by swarup damodar goswami joined him in the garden just as before they saw all the symptoms of transcendental ecstatic love manifested on the body of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu although externally he appeared bewildered he was tasting transcendental bliss within Once again all the devotees brought Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu back to consciousness by a concerted effort then the lord got up and began wandering here and there looking all around Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said where has my krishna gone i saw him just now and his beauty has captured my eyes and mind why can't i again see krishna holding his flute to his lips my eyes are wandering in hopes of seeing him once more 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then recited the following verse, which was spoken by Sri Mati Radharani to her dear friend Vishaka. My dear friend, the luster of Krishna's body is more brilliant than a newly formed cloud. And his yellow dress is more attractive than newly arrived lightning. A peacock feather decorates his head. And on his neck hangs a lovely necklace of brilliant pearls. As he holds his charming flute to his lips, his face looks as beautiful as the full autumn moon. By such beauty, Madan Mohan, the enchanter of Cupid, is increasing the desire of my eyes to see him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued. Sri Krishna's complexion is as polished as powdered eye ointment. It surpasses the beauty of a newly formed cloud and is softer than a blue lotus flower. Indeed, his complexion is so pleasing that it attracts the eyes and mind of everyone. And it is so powerful that it defies all comparison. My dear friend, Please tell me, what should I do? Krishna is as attractive as a wonderful cloud, and my eyes are just like Chataka birds, which are dying of thirst, because they do not see such a cloud. <coughs> Krishna's yellow dress looks exactly like restless lightning in the sky and the pearl necklace on his neck appears like a line of ducks flying below a cloud. Both the peacock feather on his head and his Vajjayanti garland resemble rainbows. The luster of Krishna's body is as beautiful as a spotless full moon that has just risen. And the vibration of his flute sounds exactly like the sweet thundering of a newly formed cloud. When the peacocks in Vrindavan hear that vibration, they all begin to dance. <coughs> this is Radhika Bhav, Bhav. 
Radhika, they are expansion of Radhika. Radhika is expanded in this. So this is all coming in Radhika to show that he is expansion from her. And this power is coming <coughs> No, Mandri Bhav is still not here in this chapter, but it begins with the meeting of Ramananda Roy. Slowly, slowly, but time is there. Gurudev, I could not understand actually what you said, the last sentence. Gurudev is referring to one uh, past time when uh, Mahaprabhu is uh, going to pick flowers and then he is viewing the Leela, no Gurudev? Yeah. Can you say that? No, I get it. Okay. So, um, if as Manjuris we want to understand Krishna not by our own endeavor, we want to feel um, Radharani's love for him, just not because of us, because um, it's like you give a present to someone and he said, if you give something, it gives more pleasure than when you get something, even the Christians, they have some some similar uh, words. Um, giving is more near to the soul than taking, right? So, so the pleasure of the mantra is, is Radharani's pleasure. So if we can see that Radharani is so much in bliss and describing completely mad uh, the beauty of Krishna, so is it the right understanding that we just are happy that Radharani is so much absorbed and is enjoying that actually? Now it's like this. <laughs> that might be the word. So when Radhika is searching, then uh, um, Sakhi, then they are helping. And when they no need to search, their feelings are acting. Open up the technique. Thank you. 
So now there is a description how Radharani sees or uh, feels when she is with Krishna. On Krishna's chest are the ornaments of Srivatsa and the mark indicating the residence of the goddess of fortune. His chest, which is a bro as broad as a plunderers attracts thousands upon thousands of damsels of Braj, conquering their minds and breasts by force. Thus they all become made servants of the supreme personality of Godhead. <laughs> So Gurudev, actually this is reminding me that Radharani is giving Krishna so much taste and she is expanding in so many forms, endless forms, to give him endless bliss. Yeah, in all sakis, all rupees, all bliss, is a question of Radhika, you can see that. So, uh, where's Deva? This is Mahaprabhu. This is the all Aradhika. There is nothing out of all the gopis of Aradhika. They took the mood from Mahaprabhu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have the same mood for this time. But my theory has different. Mm -hmm. The two very beautiful arms of Krishna are just like long bowls. They also resemble the bodies of black snakes that enter the space between the two hill-like breasts of women and bite their hearts. The women then die from the burning poison. And this Gurudev is remembering me how Radharani could describe her own feelings, which she would not do openly through the um, conversation or when she talks about other gopis, how other gopis could actually feel when this is happening. But this is actually also what she feels, but she's talking about others, right? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah, right. So in this way, we can also understand Radharani better if Mahaprabhu is talking about others. Yeah. And all the gopis and sakis and all they are. is a question of Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you see, 
I just found this uh, flower picking data, which Rude was asking before, and it's in uh, the Antia chapter 14. And it's Mahaprabhu fell in an ecstatic unconsciousness stage, and in his Kumakriti form, the turtle form, and then he came back from that. He said, Today, I went to Govardhan Hill to see if Krishna was tending his cows there. So the which bus? It's uh, it's saying Antya 14, on page 105 to 110. I just found it on the text, so maybe you have to see in the book exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I start again? Sure. Mahaprabhu said, Today I went to Govardhan Hill to see if Krishna was standing his house there. Climbing on Govardhan Hill, Krishna played his flute, surrounded by the cows. Hearing the flute song, Srimati came there. Oh, Saki, I cannot describe her form and mood. Krishna took Radha by the hand and entered a cave with her, while the Sakis told me to pick some flowers. Then, from your side, the remote we repeat again. <coughs> What should I read again, Gurudev? If I didn't understand this verse, this verse? yeah, was was it in the fourteen chapter fourteen, hundred five onwards, hundred five to understand. Very hidden, Gurudev. Yeah. It's very hidden now. Yeah, right. Yeah. Hmm? Um, Textnummer, was war das? Also es steht hier Antia 14, 105 bis 110. Aus dem Netz habe ich das heraus. Ich habe es nicht aus dem Buch. Antia Lila, Chapter 14. Vers 108, okay. <lacht> I saw Lord Krishna climbing over down hill and playing his flute. Surrendered on all sides by grazing cows. Yeah. Hearing the vibration of Krishna's flute, Srimati Radharani and all her gopi friends came there to meet him. They were all very nicely dressed. When Krishna and Srimati Radharani entered the cave, Together, the other gopis asked me to pick some flowers. Mm -hmm. 
Just then all of you made a tumultuous sound and carried me from there to this place. Why have you brought me here, causing me unnecessary pain? I had a chance to see Krishna's pastimes, but I could not see them. So later in the Gambira, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he's smashing his head and he is like a turtle and he's going in the sea and the fisherman is taking him out, all these are these examples from the highest state, right? <laughs> So I find it very interesting that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going through all these stages and is giving us an example. And from the beginning of his uh, appearance till the end, he's going through all these steps. And if we read this life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then we will understand very nicely, right? And you often, you often said that it's it's uh, in, uh, important that we uh, first accept Gopi Bhav and then. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also showing us what you said, actually. Uh, yeah. Gopi Bhav is coming up from the material concept. To accept that my saru and if we see it like a picture Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is going in this garden taking it as Brindavan and he is on a search right yeah. he's going on a search showing us showing yeah. us exactly <laughs> Taking us there, see these are the details. Super now. If you go and down on this, should be gold. And he was just leaving, I mean, just because other um, incarnations of Krishna, they they left the Bhagavatam and so many scriptures, but he actually just left eight verses for us, right? Because actually he was giving the living example. So 
not needed a lot of kyan books or something. He just was the living example. And if we follow his living example, it will lead to our world. Living. He has to this is virtue for the That is Raja Bhakti. When we start living in this, what a wonderful thing you must have. Wonderful. We don't do that. We don't want to live. <laughs> yeah, we go to the mighty one. Just want to be some party, part time. <laughs> we do everything not to live. Not to live. Because one day I was wondering, because it, it's just Shrik uh, Shashtakam, and then I understood actually Chaitanya Charit Amrita and uh, all this description of his life, which are giving us a picture what he was doing, is actually much more uh, helping us on the way, because it's the practical life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And if we just try to follow in the footsteps, that's why Rupa Goswami and Raguna Das actually helping us to come in this on this path. So then we may understand true practice and not true theory. Only one line you catch it and practice it. All will be clear. And it's so natural. If we read this, it's really like you always say, it's the most natural way, actually. Of course, everyone needs his time, individual. So hard Finding is not a time taking, but we take you more time in finding. After that time taking, mm -hmm. because that we have to do it. We have to change our habits and practice to uh, change our. Yeah. That's it. Twenty-four seven, we have to be with that. Sometimes five minutes they ten minutes living. Then we have to clean this living time. That is After that, you have to find different ways out of it. Again, means it was something bad. Like this. So please take that. Actually, through your mercy, I understood what uh, meditation means, actually. Because before I had some picture like yeah, meditation, you sit down, you concentrate, you go into some pictures and whatever. It was, of course, my limited understanding. And then I understood, no, meditation is the whole day, actually. What, why you are doing something? What is your meditation? Why you are doing? Yeah, Why you stand up in, in, in the morning? Yeah. 
you want to get more rich, work for it, or you want to come closer to Radha Dasyam. Wow. Yeah. That's the beginning of the meditation. And the whole day, every little detail you do, sweeping, washing clothes, whatever, why you are doing it, for whom you are doing it. This is the real meditation. I understood because you gave me this picture. And that means 24-7, right? So no big change outside is needed, but a little change inside is needed. Yeah. Maybe we jump out. I also jump out. So you have to wait for me that I can never jump out. <laughs> Please also pray for me, for us. We can pray for us together. That's why they just jump out or to see here left and right, I don't understand. In this nature, I will balance for a six time. Yes, Guru Dev. So Gopinata Bhaya told, told us the, the Manjari Baba, one bus. Yeah. Now, I, now I also sing. It seems this is Manjari Baba. This is too long. But uh, you know, just to today, no I, I huh? no long work, no problem. Go on. No problem. This is, this is Ancharira in 18th chapter. Ah, oh, yeah. So, this this is Mahaprabhu become Madhma and jumping, jumping. <laughs> Mahaprabhu thinking of the sea and jumping the sea. And then fisherman catches the Mahaprabhu. Oh, yeah. And then Swarupadamana is asking, why are, you, why are you jumping on? No, actually, Mahaprabhu said, why? Now I'm watching very nice pastime. Why you hinder? Me. Wow. And and this this bus say uncharted 18 bus from 80, 80 to 109. This is very interesting. If we, we lead very this because Mahaprabhu watching all pastime, the sad person. Gurudev used to say, who is the sad person? Who is Siya? Siya is Manjari. Because, wow. be, because Saki, Saki could join that, you know, Krishna's leader together. But uh, Manjari does not enter the leader. No, Viewer. 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 And say, if you read very, very, you know, very scrutinizing, then Manjari is in this, in this bus also. Saki also, Manjari also, they say, this one. Oh, so, okay, I read a little bit. Okay, in this half, 
This 79, in this half external consciousness, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu talked like madman. Wow. The devotee could distinctly hear him speaking to the sky. Mahaprabhu was, you know, speaking like a little bit madman. Seeing the river Yamuna, he said, I went to Brindavan. There I saw the son of Nanda Maharaj performing his sporting pastime in the water. Lord Krishna was in the water of the Jamuna in the company of the gopis, headed by Shrimate Radharani. They are performing pastime in a great sporting manner. Yes. So, all the gopi entrust their silken garment and ornament to the care of their friend. This is, this is, this is manjari. And then put on fine cross. Taking his, taking his beloved gopis with him. Lord Krishna bathes and performed very nice pastime in the water of the Yamuna. Wow. And then, you know, all, all pastime is going on. And uh, if we see, we could see it's Manjari. Like third person, Mahaprabhu becomes third person to see all the pastime. Yeah. Oh, see. So it seems, and also this is, if we read this pastime, we can see Manjari's seva also. Manjari was looking man, as a Manjari's seva also. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, a, like a, for example, like a, yeah, like, you know, like uh, serving better nuts and uh, finding the, like a massage, you know, like I say, for example. Hmm. Like uh, say, 107. When Krishna saw the very nice arrangement of the food, he happily sat down and had the forest picnic. Then after Shrimati Radharani and her gopi friend partook of the remnant, Radha Krishna lay down together in the jeweled house. Some of the gopis found Radha and Krishna. Others massaged their feet. <coughs> Maybe this is not, uh, maybe not, <laughs> maybe not Nikunja, but some fed them better leaves to chew. When Radha Krishna fell asleep, other, all other gopi also lay down. When I saw this, my mind was very happy. Suddenly, all of you create a great tumult and pick me up and brought me back here. Where now is the river Yamuna? Where is the Brindagam? Where is the Krishna and the gopis? You have broken me happy dream. <laughs> So, you know, today we don't have enough time, but if we, if we read, interesting this point. No. Very nice. Nice time. Only through Vilak Kutsumanjali we can understand this verse. Yes. Yeah. Without understanding Vilak Kutsumanjali, how we will understand this? It's difficult. By your mercy, good day. By your mercy, you know, I just did to be checking. And then, oh, this, this is actually Manjari is watching. Maybe Mahaprabhu was, you know, as Manjari watching. Wow. 
we could, we may, we may understand in this way because all pastime also, this very intimate and uh, like a Bilapax Manjari. Lord Vani is very nice subject to go in. Yes. Morning. Yes. And we have to share on this subject. How after the last of Anjali, Chaitan Chattabri, most to understand and see this is the mercy of you, Prabhupada, for the way we are to teach, the way as we do know, say to them, life is to be okay. When we will be teaching for Rupa and Prabhupada, then all will be clear. Isn't, isn't it amazing that Lord Chaitanya was actually living the example, but he was actually not directly teaching us. He was actually choosing Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Das to give us the way. And in this way, he also gave them the, the honor. Yeah, right. Yeah, I agree. And he tests himself also. Yeah. Then he said, this is the bias. You do the highest practice to my body of wisdom. Mahaprabhu passed to her birth. So, what the Mahaniji is of me? Traditional and modern. Huh? Janata? Hi, yes. Now, what is the Mahaniji is of me? Traditional Gorya Vaishnava? Uh, uh, this Mahani Swami say like a traditional way is working. Like uh, I, I, I forgot also like a new, new way does not work. Mahani Swami is interesting, uh, like uh, uh, expressing like a traditional way means like a diksha line is working. But and the new line coming from hundred years ago, from hundred years ago, but uh, it seems it does not uh, work like uh, traditional way. He told us like this, and he 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 got initiation from Pavupada. He said, "Oh, but I got initiation." I got to Diksha, but on the tape, I could not. Uh, I could not get personal his association. It's it's maybe kind of Diksha, but not a traditional way. Because because many many Prabhupada disciples go to Diksha from tape, but this is not this is not a traditional way. Traditional way is a very personal thing. And then he was, he was slowly, slowly, he was f feeling that real diksha. And then he said, he told us, he prayed one year at the Radha Kunda, please give me real guru. And he had a shiksha guru, maybe 20, 30 years, maybe more. 
But he did not say, oh, I did not give you. You don't need anything. But after, after that, that Gurudev calling Mahani Swami through other devotees. Oh, Gurudev is calling you. And then Mahani Swami went to his Gurudev. Why are you calling me? Then Gurudev said, oh, today I want to give you Diksha. And then he was completely surprised. Many years you did not say anything to me. But why you change the mind? Then he said, like, oh, Radharani. <laughs> this is Radharani. <laughs> so this is Mahati Swami's story. So maybe someone who is interested, please hear his lecture. We record it and we put on the, I think, Radha Dasi. This is very interesting. We are very, very inst uh, you know, inspired. One, one, one Maharaj from Russia, he also, he got so much inspiration. So <laughs> this is Guru Dev's mercy. Actually, I heard it, it's, it's very interesting. This uh, and I'm very thankful that you uh, give this to Radhadasyam because it shows really what you said. It's it's a very personal connection. You you cannot get through books. You cannot get through information. You need to have a personal relationship with the person who has this bath actually. So it's 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 like. Even in the material world, we can see this example that if you want to learn uh, to make furniture and you just read about it, you may never make good furniture. But if you have a person who was doing this 30, 40 years, he can show you immediately in, in very short time how to make it nicely. And he can give you the knowledge directly in a practical way. And I think this is actually Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is showing us very practical. And this was what, what inspired me yesterday to talk about this today, because there are so many steps, so many different steps. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is showing us everyone. So wherever we may be, we can step in. And also, Mahaprabhu behavior, behavior is very personal if we are reading Chaitanya Charitamrita. Not impersonal, very personal. So our diction line should be also very personal. That is, I think, you know, Mahaprabhu's parampara. So our Guru Dev also very personal. So we learn from him how to be. There was one question here, I will read it. Maybe it's for you, Jayananda Maharaj. <laughs> so the main point is to get Diksha from a traditional way. That's the question. Hmm? So the main point is to get Diksha from a traditional way, from a line, traditional line. Yes, according to Mahani Swami. Another question, what if you get Diksha from there, but you do not have the chance to get very personal, very close to your Gurudev? What then? So then if you pray to Radharani and pray to pray to Radharani and the Radharani 
can arrange anything. Can maybe send Shiksha Guru or maybe send Diksha Guru. Because Gadarani could send personal association to them. That is, that is our understanding. So if we pray to Radharani, then Radharani can arrange something good for us. So you mean Guru Tattva is working? Hmm? So you mean Guru Guru Tattva is really working? Uh, it means, what, do, what do you mean? Just a joke. <laughs> Just a little joke. <laughs> yeah, Guru Tattva, Guru Tattva is always working. Because coming from Nitai. So, but, uh, but sometimes, you know, like, uh, according to our Sanskara, we may get a different way. So, but uh, it is up to, you know, our Sanskara and also mercy of our Guru Parampara. <laughs> It's also dependent on the wish. So let's say we think, yes, I really want. I don't want anything else. But, you know, in the heart are some hidden wishes. And is it then like this that you will get what you really need and don't what, uh, not what you think you need? Yeah, Radharani knows, you know. Nitai knows our heart. Ah. And uh, according to our sanskara, according to our, you know, like a previous association or previous, you know, deed. deed. So we, we may get in this lifetime. Sometimes very pleasing, sometimes not pleasing. But all we can do is praying to the Guru Dev and praying to Radharani. Oh, Radhe, please give us your mercy. I'm helpless. I'm completely need. My only hope is you. I only yeah. desire to get to you. No, no other people can, you know, can help me. Please, Radhe, you are so merciful. You are Patita Pavana. Please save me. You know, like kind of praying. <laughs> because our only hope is Radha's Kripa, Guru Kripa. Otherwise, we are nowhere. So Radharani came here to give us her love and her mercy through Pancha Tattva, right? Yes. Gurudev, maybe you want to say something about Pancha Tattva. I was so inspired when you <laughs> were in in my in my home and you saw this Pancha Tattva picture, which was drawn by a Russian devotee, which I bought 25 years or 30 years ago, I don't know. And then you saw this picture and you were so inspired and said, please, please bring. I, I want to speak about Panchatattva. And then you explained who is who. You want to listen? Yes. yes. Please. <laughs> Advaita Charipas is Mahavishnu. Mahavishnu is Shiva. And we should gather. All life, Shiva and Vishnu play to Bhagavan, Narayan. Today, we are also praying. To Radha, Radha. Remember before that, and Shiva's 
is Narada. Only he wants to say Nara and Nara. The word was Nara. <laughs> right? But the Guru Tattva, he is a teacher. Narada Panchati. Means he is a he is a, he is a teacher of and he now he prays to Radha. Both are praying today to Radha. When he see the Thai Gaur and the other. Now you come, what is Gajada? What is Gajada? Can anyone say? Radha Shakti. You see, what is Radha Shakti? Prima. Is Shakti. And Radha Shakti you can see in the nature, in the plants, tree, birds, in all creation, you can see the Radha Sakti. Every day you can see the Radha Sakti. Radha is nowhere where no exist. Everything is, a, is living is Radha Radha. If there is a greed, is a Radha Sakti because of that greed. Living, then you will say greed. If it is not living, then you will say die, not greed. That is Radha Sakti prayer. <coughs> Nityananda is Shatvarsan Tattva. Ananta Tattva. Pahiranga Sakti of Krishna. But my Guru Dev says, this Pahiranga Sakti is what? First appear from Krishna and Taranga Sakti. Then Radha Krishna. Then Krishna wants, he cannot stay one place, right? Nature is like this. So he wants to go every place. Then what to do? <laughs> so Antaranga Sakti expand in Bhairanga Why should not expand by Bhairanga? <laughs> Is done, is Antaranga Sakti is Radha. But where is the Bhairanga Sakti? Is Radha Sakti the Bhairanga Sakti for service for Krishna? And where you can see it, you can see it in time. That this Anayamanjali. Ananya Manjari is the Thai, is the Antaranga Sakti, pick up Pairanga Sakti. That is Ananya Manjari, inner portion of the Thai. And Pairanga Sakti, what we do outside, where the Thai is. <laughs> that is the highest Tattva in the Thai than other places. One one book in the Chaitanya Chantamrita. In Bangla, most beautiful book, this prize is very short. Ten years before. I don't know now how much it's got. Twenty thousand. And I listened from that. 
He was Prabhupada's disciple. He is actually the English. I forget his name. He was very old Prabhupada's disciple. Living in me, and he is living in Bengali. He is living, he bring that book. And he was surprised. Means he four book can come only a explanation of Christian. Separately, you can make the separate book. Oh, so much details I to mention there. <laughs> so, in the conclusion of that explanation, explanation is Ananda Bhattari is the root cause of Nithai and Sakasha. She is the Taranga Sakti become by Radha. Radhika to serve. Become anangmandiri when Krishna go any place to anangmandiri. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna is sure there, but inside feeling is Radhika, he took the feeling of Radhika. He wants to be a student of Radhika. And he cover also outside that he cannot go for that feeling of this is Oh, this is the Nishaita the Mahaprabhu. That he don't want to go out of the Radhika and out he goes to Anandamandiri state. And that this is the first thing. When you see it this way, then you say Nithai God. And if you see it in front of it, then you say God Nithai. <laughs> this is the mode of God Nithai and Nithai God. Who see the Anand Manjari, they will never say God Nithai. Because you will be never success to be a Manjari. Because Anand Manjari will drop you to go to other. He is the Yamina. Anand Manjari will send you to the Lord, Radhika. <laughs> so Gurudev, your Gurudev said that Antaranka Shakti is going to uh, transform into Vahiranga Shakti. So if we see Panchatattva, it's Radharani with all <coughs> different kind of aspects and shaktis um, to help us because Guru Tattva, Chaitya Guru is also, Maha Vishnu is also there, so she can give us information from inside, from outside, she can give us also Brahma um, in the process which we are doing and Srivas, we can also see maybe as uh, Bhakti Shakti expansion from Radha Shakti. Are yeah. he said that day you will be clear this all the will come out of his eyes. <laughs> Everything will be revealed inside to you. Why you bother for study chant and in the past time? What you are searching for? <laughs> there is a one root thought. And she is wrapping up. We are in all places. Rapika is the same Oh, 
punishing and thinking to give the pleasure in and out. So she is like that. I said, Rudev, I don't understand. I know Balaam. He said, it will take time to understand to you. But he, today you will understand all will be clear to you. Clear is right. I take some time to realize it. When my purity comes inside me, by chanting, I realize, oh, hear you. Do them same thing before. Why I was doubting on this voice? It's not clear. Like it was that clear. You love everyone, you love everything, you love them. There is nothing to do. Not to love. Because all my love. All my love. I mean, <laughs> So, Guru Dev, there's another question. Yeah. So, how can I first practice Gopi Bhav when I want to go to Radha? How is it meant? Gopi Bhav means I'm in male body. Right? And my desire and my practice is not this life. So many lives. I have a many times female body also, but my enjoyment tendency is in that body also. So enjoyment tendency is a male body. I have a female body so many times and male body. But to enjoy my senses is a male body. Purusha. The day I will be female body, then I want to be enjoyed by enjoy. The day it will come in me, be enjoyed by enjoy. And this cannot come without my feet. To realize it, we need little by them so we understand now. Oh, any, any. When I say to him, you have to listen to this, I'm a female, what he want to do, but he do the nonsense. Mine does not want to accept, he does not want to listen. Mouth say, but not repeating, but he is not accepting. Is that only we have to <coughs> try to go for this to other place. Without moving, living in the same place is not working. We have to hold something. And this movement has to be from here to there. <coughs> that is important. Without that, this nature is not good in my existence. I am trying to change and I want to make a bigger line, the same line I want to make bigger line. One person otherwise we forget this line. I make other line bigger than this line. That is not the way.
an automatic that will be smaller. Now time is over. Aarti Jai Narayan.